I'm moving out of my apartment and um, I'm not moving into anywhere. As the words fade away, I still believe what your eyes say. So, the lease on my apartment just ended a couple days ago, and at the moment, there's not really anybody who's looking to or willing to move out that I really want to live with. So, I've always kind of, or not always, but for the past couple years, kind of had the desire to live out of my car. Um, I think it's just something for me, it's something that would challenge me to be more productive or not even really challenge me to be more productive, it would force me to be more productive because when you have a place to come back to with AC, a TV, Wi-Fi, couches, it's very, very tempting and very easy to just be lazy. Um, and I think the goals that I have are too important to me to just kind of throw away because I got too comfortable. So I'm trying to get, you know, a little bit uncomfortable so that I am forced into a more productive lifestyle, essentially. So in the meantime, I have the storage unit with all my stuff. I got my couches, washer, dryer, basically everything. And as you can see, I'm cheap and I didn't want to spend money on anything bigger than this. So I made very good use of the space. This thing is literally so full that when I close it, So now I'll kind of show you what my current setup looks like in my car. Still need some work before I start living out of it. And luckily I've had some friends who have been letting me stay with them for the past couple of nights while I kind of get everything set up. So let's see. You can fuck. This door sometimes just will not open. All right, so I literally just had to bang on it pretty hard a couple times and it was willing to open, but this is what I got so far. Got my laundry basket with all my clothes, couple pillows, duffel bag full of some stuff. Some stuff. And um, yeah, all I really need is some sort of padding right here. And uh, I've got some blankets that I'll throw in there too. And I wanna get something to, uh, to cover up the windows while I sleep because this is pretty elevated. The, f the seats don't go down into the car like I know some vehicles do. Um, they just flatten out right there. So if I were to just fall asleep in some random parking lot uh, without curtaining the windows, anybody could just walk by and see some random dude sleeping in his car. So uh, that's pretty much one of the only things I need to take care of and then we'll be good to go um actually i gotta get out of here because this place closes at nine and the gate locks from the inside and out so if i'm not out of here in the next six minutes i'm gonna be trapped in here i'm gonna try to prop this up on my dashboard um what was i talking about as far as like bathing, um, my plan is to get a Planet Fitness membership so that I'll be able to go in and take a shower whenever I want to get cleaned up. And then of course, you know, it's important to have gym access. So there's uh, two birds with one stone right there. And I really think that this is going to be something that forces me to get out of my comfort zone in terms of 
interacting with the world. I'm a very introverted person. I don't like to just go out and, and do stuff just for the sake of going out and doing stuff. Unless, of course, I'm hanging out with my friends. But aside from that, really, I spend a lot of my time just chilling in my apartment and dreaming, you know? I don't want to spend all of my time dreaming. I want to be doing, and hold on. 8.57, still got three minutes to spare. Now, crap, I don't really know where to go. I guess I'm gonna go to Walmart and um, see if there's anything I could use to kind of shield these windows in case I do sleep out of my car tonight. I just feel like living out of my car, I'm not really gonna wanna be spending a lot of time in my car other than when I'm driving from place to place, of course, and when I'm sleeping. But I'm not just gonna wanna come, you know, sit and chill out in my car. It's just not the most appealing environment for kicking back, you know? So naturally, I'm gonna be out a lot more, expanding my comfort bubble. All right, this just fell off the dashboard, so I'm just gonna hold it now. You know, what it really comes down to is I haven't had to, I haven't been challenged in a while. I mean, basically my whole life, I've lived in fear because of how comfortable my natural environment is. I always have a, a, a safe haven where I can go and just hide and be by myself and my own thoughts with, with all these irrational fears tormenting me. And I, I don't know, I just think that a lot of good things are gonna come from this, this period of my life of being a little bit uncomfortable so that I can essentially increase my comfort zone by having my living conditions being a little bit uncomfortable and constantly being immersed in the community. Uh, I don't know, I'm really excited. <sighs> New music coming soon, boy. Stay tuned.